Hello everybody, it's James, and today I thought I'd share with you all some footage that I took a few weeks back of the Slava Archangel Michael and All Angels Ski in Weatherby, Missouri, just north of Kansas City. And for all of you who do not know, a Slava is basically a feast day of the monastery, and that's uh, under the Serbians, under Bishop Longin. And as you might have seen in the thumbnail, they also have recently, in the last few years, started a winery. And so here we have some rakia, which is a great brandy that they make. And they also make a couple different kinds of wine. They have a sweet wine and I know a dry wine. So I thought I'd kind of do a two for one video. So this video is going to be kind of going over just some of the footage that I took of the monastery grounds and the brief uh, snippets that I have from the services of the church before it started to rain. And when it started to rain, I had to actually put up put up my stuff so that way it didn't get wet. But I was able to do some sample footage of my Bosch and Loam anamorphic lens, two times lens. It's the really big Bosch and Loam, the one that's like, see if I can do this, it's like yay, yay long. And so it's has very few videos online of the actual sample footage. And so I find that uh, depending on what taking lens that you have, uh, it can yield quite drastic uh, or quite different results. So the Helios 44 is a good taking lens to use. And then I have the super multi-coated Tacomar here. And this is the 50 millimeter F1.4, which this is quite sharp. And what I like about this is the sharpness to it. And you can record in F4 without it being uh, too soft. And right now I'm actually recording with a Bosch and Loam, but I'm using the 55 millimeter because it doesn't vignette nearly as bad. So the vignette on 55 versus 50 right now is uh, with the diopter I'm using, I'm using the 55 so that way I don't have to crop it as much. But if I was to record on my M50 in 4K, it's a crop mode, I could actually use my 50 millimeter lens if I didn't have the diopter, but the diopter makes me have to sit uh, basically three feet away from the lens. For those who are interested in the Bosch and Loam lens, I'll put the markers in the description so that way there'll, there'll be timestamps on the video timeline. So you can skip to what parts you wanna watch. I will mention that also, I did try a bunch of different lenses with the taking lens. I tried some C-mount lenses, which some of those actually turned out to be quite sharp. And I also tried uh, a Jupiter, one of the Jupiter, I think 50 millimeter, and that was horribly soft. It didn't pair well. And so a lot of the ones like the Industars, uh, cheap 55 or 50 millimeter lenses, they didn't turn out too good with the combination of the Bosch and Loam with this. So if you're gonna use the Bosch and Loam because it's a cheap introductory anamorphic lens, I highly re recommend using it with a lens that is sharp. And actually, even with sharp lenses, like I have a Canon FD, uh, 1.4. It wasn't as sharp as a super multi-coated Tacomar. So I recommend uh, trying different lenses out with with the anamorphic that you get and see how they work out and they pair together. So other than that, I hope you like the uh, footage. I did kind of a simple color grade. I'm not the best at color grading and I just now, maybe within the last month or so, have acquired a graphics card where I can actually start practicing color grading. So it's kind of take it or leave it, the color grades, so-so, and I'm color grading on a monitor that's like horribly old, it's like 10 years old, because I don't have a proper color gr uh, grading monitor or a OLED TV. So at some point, hopefully God willing, I'll acquire that so I can start actually making decent images with my gear. So you'll have to forgive the color grade and just enjoy the footage.
save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace.